This is Sky, and today I'm going to show you how to DIY a porch package's lock box bench. Here are the main supplies you'll need. One 4x8 sheet of exterior sanded plywood. One 6-foot piece of 1 and a quarter corner molding. Two 7-foot pieces of 1 and a quarter flat molding. One 7-foot piece of quarter inch pine screen molding. One nine foot piece of three quarter by one and a quarter pine board, two gate hinges, four leg plates, four round bun wooden feet, one safety hasp, brad nails, exterior paint and primer, exterior polyurethane, exterior lock. Here are the tools you'll need hand sander. Craig Jig R3, drill, clamps, brad nailer, miter saw, paint sprayer. Here's what you do. Cut your box pieces, then sand. Bottom, front, back, sides, and top. Use the diagram provided in the link below to cut all boards out of a 4x8 piece of exterior sanded plywood. Assemble your box pieces. Create three pocket holes along each end of front and back pieces using the Craig Jig R3. Set the jig slider to 5 8 inch and adjust the drill bit stop collar to 5 8 inch. Place two fingers along outside edges of your wood piece to mark where to drill your outside pocket holes. Then eye the center for the third hole. Clamp jig into place, then drill. Apply wood glue to your side piece, clamp into place, then screw your pieces together using one inch pocket screws. Now, place the newly assembled front, back, and side pieces onto the table. Apply glue along each side's edge, then set the bottom piece on top. Using your brad nailer and one and a quarter brad nails, nail into place, about two and a half to three inches apart. Attach heavy duty top leg plates. Measure box height, then cut, sand, glue, then nail corner molding to box corners. Measure length of box and side corner moldings, cut, apply glue, then attach flat molding to top and bottom edge of box with one inch brad nails. Attach quarter inch screen molding to top lid. We mitered our pieces together for a nice finish. Glued, then nailed to our lid with 3 quarter inch nails. Attach three underside lid braces. This will help prevent your top lid from warping. Cut three 15 and a half inch pieces of your 3 quarter by 1 and a quarter pine board. Make a 30 degree miter cut on each end, then sand to smooth for a finished look. Measure and mark where you wish to attach your braces, then make a center line on the top side of your lid to place your nails. Glue, clamp, then nail into place. Attach top lid railings. This finishing touch is optional, but if you wish to add a cushion, it will help keep it in place. Measure and cut two side pieces and one back piece out of your three quarter and one and a quarter pine board. On each side piece, make a 30 degree miter cut at the front ends. Sand to round them out, then apply glue. Clamp. The nail into place.
Now it's time to paint. Use exterior semi-gloss paint and primer in a paint sprayer or spray paint for a quick and smooth finish. Paint at least two to three coats. For an optional touch, you can paint your hardware. Don't forget your feet. Once everything's dried, screw on the feet. Attach hinges to top lid, then box. Place hinges evenly apart about 10 inches or so from each end, then attach. Place top onto box, making sure there's an even one inch overhang on both outer edges. The back edge should be flush. Attach hinges to box. Attach safety hasp. Spray a couple coats of outdoor polyurethane to inside of box to protect it from the elements. Attach your nylon cording lid support. Attach eye straps to both sides of box and lid. Thread nylon cording through straps, then wooden bead, then tie off. Here's a tip. Use a lighter to burn off the end of your nylon cording to prevent fraying. Adhere box bumpers. Then add your lock. You did it! For more detailed instructions, go to our website. If you'd like to check out more of our doable DIY projects, follow us on Instagram or Pinterest. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos.